387 is where we're at. <laughs> Alright everyone, welcome back to Amor of an Enemy. So today, uh, we're on our way to Long Beach. As you guys can tell, it's 6.26 in the morning. It's a little bit of early. Um, yeah, I like getting up early for this type of stuff, but when my wife tells me, tells me to go run, <laughs> yeah, it takes me a while to get up. But anyways, we're gonna go uh, and hang out with Mauricio. Mauricio drives a Type R. We interviewed him a while back in Los Angeles. Um, I think I want to say last week or this week, early this week, um, he hit me up. Uh, he's like, hey, what are you doing uh, on Wednesday? And I was like, mm -hmm, I don't know. And then he's like, I know you're an employee, so <laughs> you have time. I was like, nice. I was like, yeah, what's up, man? He's like, uh, I'm getting my, my Type R Dino, so uh, I don't know if you want to you know, tag along. And I'm like, yeah, why not? Let's just do it. He's like, yeah, let's get some coffee afterwards. So Enough of the real life shit. <laughs> Let's talk about what is it that you're hoping. By the way, thank you so much for inviting me over. No, of course, dude. So, what is it that you're hoping out of these? Uh, is, is a tune. So, uh -huh. what are you hoping for? I guess. Um, to have a good ethanol map. Now I'm gonna be running E85 on my car, uh, on the Type R. Uh, I have the flex fuel sensor from PRL. Um, what else? I just did the turbo inlet pipe. I remember last time we met, mm -hmm. I was telling you I was gonna do that. I also ended up doing. Oh, I also ended up doing uh, the PRL intake as well. They gave me a good little deal from Evasive Motorsports. Nice. Uh, so, yeah, hit them up. They're really, really good. Um, so, hopefully, you know, closer to the 400 Club. That's my goal. Closer to the 400 Club. Um, if, if I do get that close, I do need to get a clutch because I don't know how, <laughs> I don't know how much the stock clutch can handle. But, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. That's cool, man. Yeah. So you've had all those little pieces. Do you feel a difference from before? Um, not really, okay. just because of the map that I have. Okay. I uh, My peak boost went down from 27 pounds down to 20 pounds, 21 pounds. So I'm sure it's just something in the in the airflow that the ECU just had to like regulate right away. Interesting. Yeah. So I lost a little bit of, of boost pressure, but I'm sure it'll get fixed right now. Yeah. So you 85? E85, uh, yeah, but but because I'm not balling to be able to have the the Honda fuel system, which is like three thousand dollars. Get a new it's car, insane. right? <laughs> yeah, a new dude, I can get a daily with that, <laughs> which I need still. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, three thousand dollars for for injectors, a fuel plug. Which I need still. Yeah, I do, dude. I do, I do. It's insane. Um, but uh, it's injectors. Uh, fuel pump and I forgot what else but three thousand dollars dude That's it's insane. insane it's insane yeah. but with that I would be able to run a hundred percent e85 okay the, the current fuel pump and injectors just don't have enough yeah, capacity yeah so I'll probably be running about a 30 to 40 percent ethanol mix so yeah so with the PRL flex fuel kit it'll be able to adjust on the fly Mm -hmm. If I have ethanol or 91 pump gas, so it's basically two maps that we're gonna be doing today. That's cool. Yeah, wow. yeah, I'm I'm excited. What were, what were uh, your numbers before all of this? I think like 350. 350 in stock is 305. 305, yeah. But oh, wow, so that's pretty. That, yeah, that's to the that's to the crank. I believe uh, to the wheels stock is like 280. Really? Yeah, 280 to the wheels. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I'm excited to to get closer to that 400 club. Should be a good time based on what we have here <laughs> um, but yeah he's super excited i'm excited for him i hope he gets the numbers that he uh he's looking for and for me it's more about reliability i just hope everything goes well in that sense and um and hopefully uh he can be enjoying his car in, in no time but um yeah that beefy stand so it should be pretty fun so yeah they took this ek out and it's absolutely bonkers like if you tell me like how would you want your civic to look like this is probably it like even the color is just perfect um it's boosted 
smell like E85. They're doing things right here. It's beautiful. Nice splitter. It's it's just nice, you know, super super nice. Um, the interior it's completely uh, blocked off. Wow, I don't know who owns this car, but I would love to get to know the story behind it because this is so much fucking work. This is so much work. Absolutely love it. Wow, this is amazing. That's 2000 steering wheel. <sighs> Gage is telling you you're going fast. <laughs> So they'll do another run. Um, they're already tying up a few things on 91 since he is going to do a dual um, map. Um, they're taking out the, the shop cars or some of the customers' cars. And um, wow, look at this. Just, I absolutely love the E36. It's like, I, I yeah, love the E36. Look at that big brake kit, beautiful cage super nice buttoned up in the back i mean it's just amazing the color it's one of the most rare colors m3 i mean talk about awesomeness this is super dope so now we're gonna start with the rx7 and then um show the other tune on 91. all right so i think we're more than halfway done with the tune on 91 power from what Mauricio can see is very linear so that's exactly what he wanted um, obviously the the power gain will be more noticeable once the E85 goes in um, but for now like he's very happy um, he seems to see some improvements from just his last dyno um, at a, a different shop and so he's happy with it uh, like I said I think we're more than halfway done with the with the 91 2 and then they're gonna start putting the E85 and then start doing the dyno on those um, but it's looking pretty good sounds good power seems to be uh, pretty linear so and there's a whole bunch of beautiful cars here like that one that just pulled up it's beautiful and yeah the hatch over there uh, B18C boosted beautiful and uh, some nice cars here as well Top secret skyline out there, the boy uh, Mauricio explained to me. And then some nice Cadillacs, RX-7, and under that cover, GTR. So they definitely know what they're doing around here. If, if any of you were wondering what powers this little hatch track beast, B18C boosted. It's beautiful. It's perfect weight to power ratio, power to weight ratio.
E85, so the E85 has been put in, and so now we're gonna start seeing more of the, some of the different powers. Um, and obviously, like Mauricio mentioned, um, power is good, but what you really wanna see is just linear power all throughout the band, so that way you, um, it, it's enjoyable, it's enjoy, uh, enjoyable to drive, and at the same time, it keeps the, the motor you know reliable, and um, you know you get the best out of the tune. gonna go out for a test drive see how it feels see how uh, Mauricio notices the difference or not and then uh, we'll catch you guys a little bit just to see how it relaxes here